it seems there's something unexpected going on in Europe, uh, in Ukraine. Uh, the government has uh, declared martial law, basically because they are not prepared to deal with the swine flu uh, epidemic there. But on the other hand, if you see the statistics, two of out of uh, 255,000 uh, sick uh, people, 15,000 need uh, hospitalization, which is about 5%, and that is way more than the average because, uh, well, uh, you can imagine that that's, uh, that's a lot. Also, the mortality rate seems to be a little bit higher. They call it uh, a pneumonic plague, not, uh, not pneumonia or flu. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's a little bit uh, worrisome and it might be that the whole country basically is panicking because, of course, if you have uh, a high mortality rate and, and of course, uh, if the medical personnel is explo ex exposed very often, uh, of course, with every, every single new case uh, of somebody getting the flu, he'll go to a doctor and that doctor will be exposed, so the concentration of exposure with doctors is immense which of course increase their likelihood to get sick because they get all kinds of varieties and they get a little bit flu here and a flu there and, and different diseases which is very dangerous and doctors are dying and that might cause a panic in the in the medical uh, let's say uh, environment but also of course in the people that want to control the disease because people will be knocked out of that system it's not clear what's happening there's another story about a, a certain Joseph Mosh Moshe, a bio scientist uh, from Israel, that uh, claimed that there had been uh, different types of strains introduced into the into the either the virus, which would be pretty easy under the circumstances, uh, or uh, in the vaccine. So you get you put parts of uh, of, uh, but that's a really not a very likely scenario because the vaccine is a weakened form. Uh, of the virus that your body uh, builds resistance to once it receives the vaccine. So it's like you're a little bit sick and then you build up the resistance. It's not very likely that the vaccine is a problem. I don't believe that for one. But it is possible that some somebody or some country or some entity that wants to do harm uh, can introduce uh, similar viruses that are more lethal under the cover of the current epidemic that's entirely possible and if you want to do harm to Europe for instance then you could do that anyway I thought it was interesting news I'll link next to uh, an article about Ukraine where you can read what's going on there and that they did declare martial law and that they do assume that there is a more potent virus and I hope you find it interesting and uh, take care and don't uh, <laughs> don't sneeze in the open and wash your hands often